I'm Dr. Mandy Blackwelder from Healing Arts Animal Care in Beaverton, Oregon. We are a rehabilitation center for the dogs and cats of Portland. So I'm here to talk to you today about low stress handling and how important it is that all veterinarians, not just us, but that veterinarians are moving towards lower stress handling in their practices. So we all know of that dog that's absolutely terrified to go to the vet or the cat that you have to like cram in the carrier. And, and we need to be moving towards something less stressful for the animal. Just like for us, Doctoring is stressful. Um, temperatures have to be taken, shots have to be given, but there are lots of ways that we can help manage that level of stress. As you can see, Florence here is very unstressed by something super simple. We've got a lick mat here to slow her down with just a little bit of um, squeezy liver paste on there that she is uh, obviously enjoying. So at our practice, the way that we start is that we don't have you come into the clinic until we're ready for you. We have you text us when you arrive, we go out to the car and get you and bring you in um, so that the dog or the, especially cats are not sitting in the lobby worrying, um, walking into all the smells and all the things. It's a lot easier to just come in and get started. On initial visits, we all just sit down, have a little bit of a carpet picnic to get going. Um, we spend a lot of time figuring out which are, is the treat that is most appropriate for the dog, whether it be something that is hypoallergenic um, or that is just squishy enough or crunchy enough for that particular animal's needs. For cats, um, we use churu, which uh, we call this kitty crack uh, because it is rare that we find a cat that doesn't love it. Um, and we also um, always sprinkle with um, catnip to get going. Um, this is fresh catnip from a veterinarian here in town. So most of my kitties roll in it and eat it. We also are very careful to spray ourselves with something called feel away before cats come in to help um, with happy cat pheromones instead of smelling like dogs when we walk in. And we have a room specific to cats, that is this room, um, where we have different lighting um, so that it's not quite as terrifying. For kitties, kitties like to hunker down. And so anytime that we can treat them or manage them in their carrier, a lot of times we'll take the top off, um, we will do that for them. Or we will put them under a blanket and do our, um, our exam kind of hiding under the blanket with them. For cats, that is comforting. For dogs, a lot is, is dependent upon whether that dog is a fight, a flight, or just a happy, exuberant dog. All of those dogs need a different level of handling. Just because the dog walks in and jumps up on us doesn't necessarily mean that that dog is ready for me to start you know, stretching its legs. So we, it's all about kind of permission for doctors when they say, hey, I'm going to listen to your heart now. I'm going to put my hand up your shirt now. I'm going to, you know, touch whatever now. And you have a sense of warning. Animals need that too. They need the, you know, nice soft touch and then a gradual movement down to the hip in order to stretch it rather than a grab on and a stretch. Because if you do that, the dog's going to be tight. You don't know if it's tight because the dog's tight or it's tight because the dog is nervous. So low stress handling um, is essential. Even with muzzles, dogs that need muzzles are not necessarily, well, are never bad dogs. There are no bad dogs. Um, it is a matter of making sure that we are reading their fears, reading what has got them concerned, and trying to meet them where they live. In our practice, for example, um, there are several dogs that our first examination we did in the underwater treadmill, which might sound terrifying to you, but a lot of dogs, when they get that buoyancy and the water, pressure against them just standing in the water not moving they feel more comforted comforted and we are able to touch body parts that we wouldn't be able to touch otherwise in order to be low stress handling certified all of our employees have gone through the course from um, Sophia Yin. Sophia Yin was an amazing veterinary behaviorist um, who unfortunately passed away her information is beautifully explained in ways that we all can understand. Um, so a great example is um, the dog that you finally got your hands on the dog and you're touching the dog and then you get up and that's when the dog bites. 
The way she explains that is you and a spider are in a room. You're afraid of the spider, but the spider's not moving and you're not moving. And so you're all okay. But then all of a sudden the spider goes, right? Now you're scared again. It's that exact same concept. Um, So we have all gone through that training. We work very hard to incorporate those things into our veterinary clinic. In terms of your veterinary clinic and your regular visits, we're lucky here. We don't, you know, we don't do vaccinations. We're not putting a thermometer up their butt. So they like us more. But in your regular veterinary offices, always bring your dog's favorite treats and always treat the heck out of your dog through that. Your vet is not going to judge you for for doing that. If your dog's obese, they might say something, but it is important that this this negative things that are happening are paired with something positive. So when I take my own cats to the vet, um, my kitties, I always bring canned salmon with me and I always am feeding my kitties through the whole process. With my kitties, we always get down on the floor so that the cats can roam rather than up on a slippery table um, and go from there. Florence, I'm very lucky. She's super easygoing, but even with her, we still treat her through the whole experience because we don't want her to develop um, an adverse sensation about her veterinarian. The crux of it is that you should be focusing on making sure that any experience, veterinary or otherwise, any experience for your pet is a positive one. Um, And so we want to pair positive with the tough stuff. Just like we say, hey, after you get your shots, you can go out for ice cream like you do with your children. We're going to do that with the dog, but the dog doesn't get the after part. So we do it in the during part. Low stress handling certification is a huge part of our practice. We are so proud to be low stress handling certified. I'm Dr. Mandy Blackwelder, Healing Arts Animal Care. The phone number here is 971-703-3303. And our website is www.healingartsanimalcare.com. 